Right guys, we'll just have a little look and uh, we've got total mass, biomass, total biomass solutions putting a boiler in here for us uh, in our new shed. So we're gonna have a look how they're getting on. Okay, so that's the auger fitted in the tube. Looking good. And starting to put the flue in. We've got the expansion vessel. Um, what else have we got? We've got the ash. The ashing unit coming out there. So that's all right. Not sure if they've got any more stuff here. Yeah. It's obviously for the top of the flue. How you doing, Phil? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, just uh, doing my little daily video here. No problem. I'm doing me on. See how it's all coming on. So I see you put a copper pipe along there next to this two steel pipes. Is that where we're going to put the attached water? Yeah. To? Yeah. We've okay. Got more copper pipe. I mean, I don't know how far where where that's coming from. Yeah. Um, that can come all the way. Yeah. I mean, to that 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 corner, it's no problem. So we've got enough blue pipe there to to put it in. So yeah, that's great, mate. Everything looking all right for you. Yeah. I see you've got the auger in over here and the yeah, deashing yeah, auger. Like, Yeah. Uh, we're gonna put spring arms on. We've got expansion. Spring arms over there. Yeah. Turned around. So we've just got just got enough clearance foot wall to go in. Yeah, wall to go in here. Okay. Um, and yeah, yeah. wiring. What, yeah. What's the chances we may be able to use a machine? Yeah, they'll be all right. Today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah would you it, have a man basket in one? So guys, I'm just had a guy who's doing some wood turning come in, and he wants five of these locks. So. Selecting them out now, which he wanted, and putting them on the uh, Eiffel trailer. I'm going to give the Range Rover a bit of a try, see how good it is at pulling uh, this load, which I, mean, I don't know how heavy it is, maybe a ton, ton and a half. So that'll be a nice um, demonstration of the pulling power. on nice and secure I'll uh, go off and see if I can find this guy's um, yard and drop them off I'll just take the sides off nice and easy so yeah good so that's the finished product the bowl that's, that's the bowl it's a bread basket for the Connaught in London oh this going to the Connaught in London yeah is it? and wow. then they're having a load for their uh, their sister restaurant in uh, Marrakesh Oh, Marrakesh again. Yeah. <laughs> English Ash English going Angel. to Marrakesh. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. But we do yeah. a load of different ones down for them, and they, that's the one they picked. All right. But obviously, we've so brilliant. Made, made it slightly harder for ourselves. So if we take them down, that was, yeah. it was very nice, but full spalted, and uh, it had been in a very olive and spalted. It's quite a piece, isn't it? Yeah. That came yeah. from a, We'd never seen one like that. It came from a. Bit of ash, but it came from the chaps right. with little uh, oak up in Edo. Yeah. Um, and he just happened to mention, he goes, I've got this piece of ash you might be interested yeah. in. But we've not it's, seen one like that. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it almost looks like a beach with that funny it kind does, of yeah. thing in there. I get the feeling. Yeah, you've got a proper it's... nice little yard yeah. here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that was a nice little drop off uh, for ash that I'd had. Um, rather than going to firewood, it's going to nice bowls. So that's just great. I've got a few other nice trees that he's interested in. Got magnis amazing elm. I won't try to say magnificent. Um, and um, he's quite interested in that. Uh, it's very tall, very straight, going out the bottom of the quarry. Um, and uh, it's about ready to come down. So we'll probably be going back at some stage. So there's the uh, fan sitting on the outside. Uh, we've got the um, tunnel there with the two holes for the drying bins. 
Um, got to hook up these two connections down there, back into the shed. Um, and we'll just take a look how they've got on today then. Do, 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 do. Yep, I just put the chimney in there and then obviously got a uh, de asher there and we just got this bin delivered so I have to cut a hole in the top or something and put it underneath. Okay guys, so we're just at the end of the week now and uh, we're down in the new shed. Um, so I'll show you what we've been doing on the boiler, putting that in and just do a run through. Uh, I've got the turntable set up there. I've got one other arm to fit on, uh, but then um, they've plumbed in everything here. Um, we've run it all up. It's all working. I've got the ash bin in place there. Uh, they put the pipeline all in there. Um, I'll just flip the camera around. We've got mains pressure in here uh, and they've brought a pipe over here uh, that feeds in. And this line here then goes into the chip auger so that if there is a, a fire that comes back down here, it will, can be suppressed with water from that little mini container up there. Um, yeah, the ash auger is in place, which is nice. I've seen the blowers running and they've stuck in this chimney up here. Um, so that's sticking out side. So we're going to have a look at that. So it's going to stick up the outside here by about two meters outside. You can just see it there. So hopefully there won't be any smoke coming out of that because it will be burning really hot and the chip will be dry. Uh, the pipework runs all the way to the inside of the shed and then it connects up with the heat exchanger here, which we had delivered. Um, <clears throat> we haven't had the control panel yet. Uh, I've got to raise up this box here, our little tunnel, and then we can put our hook with bins on. Um, and then we'll have to Lag all that, make sure it doesn't doesn't freeze if it goes down in, in the winter. And that's the water pipe that comes from the AD plant. So we'll just have to dig that in next week. So again, that doesn't freeze either. So there, there we are. That's our our job on the biomass boiler. Um, we're just going to build the chip bunker next week, hopefully, and then we can see it running. Coming up to the top barn. It's stacked up now. Richard's stacking up the wheat into the shed. It's a pretty low shed, so we actually struggle a bit to tip these big trailers. It does come out of the corn, but now wheat if you can just see is so close to the door that we're gonna to have to tip into the bunker between the sheds just peeking out in the corner there and then Richard buckets it in to the shed but he's busy with the two combines on
full, which is going to have to shuttle back and forth pretty quick to get that in the shed for the next load. up the combine they've finished this field off now um, they've done about 600 tons my brother said uh, so they're going to sell that out of the shed and then come back and do the rest of our wheat um, so they're just hooking up the combine now I'll go and take a look side Mark Middleton's machine there it's got another one over here so oh, absolutely flew through this with the two machines nice and dry so there won't be any drying on the vent. Doing all right. There he is. There's the second machine. Just about to take the header off. There's a fair amount of wheat still to combine. Uh, five fields left to go at. Um, but as I said, Sheds now full, oh. so we'll get that sold. It's all booked to come this week. We've got 30 or 40 lorries turning up. We'll get out. Right, so this field uh, it's been bailed up uh, for our straw for muck deal with uh, the Charlters, who are neighbours. Um, and this field next year is going to go into maize from the AD. Um, and we're going to give it a good pile of uh, muck on it to get, get the maize going. So it'll be muck and digestate. And on some fields, put the sewage cake on again. But this has yielded well, this land. And probably because it's a bit more more clay on the soil and it just held the moisture a bit more to that dry period we had uh, after May. Whereas the lighter land where we started on, I think we're getting about eight tonnes per hectare. This has been coming in at 12 tonnes per hectare. So that's a big difference um, for it. But I'll just show you all the digestate we've got piled up, ready to go and cow manure. Well, that's a good part of it. The lighter stuff is of digestate. And we've got more over that side, so nicely rotted down digestate and cow manure, which is all gonna be good, good news for the maize when we get that planted. And the maize is starting to look really nice now. Uh, that month, to, month and a half of water that we've had has actually made the maize catch up pretty well. Um, with, with where it, it, it sort of got behind with that dry period. So, um, you know, it's had a good drink now and it's really showing its legs, which is nice. So yeah, we've done a part harvest. Um, as I said, they'll be back in a bit. And um, there's a bit of oats to clear up. And then um, we'll give it a month or so's rest and then we'll be into the, into the maze.
Okay guys, so we're up in the top yard with the wood. Um, we're just getting the saw starting to run again. Um, we've still got a fair amount of dried wood in here, but we've dug back quite a lot. We had a real flurry of orders uh, this week and last week, so we've been trying to fulfill them. We've got the kindling bench going. Um, so we've been bagging up bags of kindling because people are wanting that now. Uh, we need to do bags of logs as well for people, so they're sitting over there. Um, obviously down in that new barn where the biomass boiler is, we're going to use that for storage too. Um, even the macro has been behaving. Uh, we cleaned out the fuel lines last week because they were clogged up. And I think we might just finally have got on top of that. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to do a kiln change next week, get these bins filled up with, with more firewood. And um, yeah, um, hopefully that should be a good change around next week so then the week after that we need to get into doing some chipping uh, we've got a few contracts on so we'll be taking out the chipper to get that running um, and we got a fair fair demand for the wood chip going out the door so all busy and go here lads and thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you next time